everybody, welcome to a brand new episode. Actually, pretty much the first episode covering Garmin in a long time, guys. And I do apologize again, I've taken a lot of time off. But we're back in the garage today, we're with the boat, and today we're gonna do something very important. I'm gonna show you guys how to use your phone, and we are going to run a firmware update on all the Garmin equipment on the boat that is networked together. For those of you that follow my channel, you know that I recently upgraded to 12-inch Echomap Ultras, which are connected behind me and networked, which is, they've been really, really awesome. Actually, I'm having a good time with them but they've never been updated. So we're gonna update these as though they're brand new right out of the box. And then once we're done the upgrade, we're gonna go ahead and answer some questions and I'll cover some little things about networking. I'll show you how they're networked and all that good stuff and what the different options are on the different Echo Maps and we'll answer any other common questions you might have. And of course, guys, as always, don't let me down. Make sure you like the video, make sure you're subscribed, bell notifications, all that good stuff, right? Help me grow the channel. Let's get started. First things first, guys, you're going to need a micro SD card like this no bigger than 32 gig. Remember the golden rule? Don't get a card bigger than 32 gig. This is what we need, and you only need one. This is actually a common question that I get quite a bit is, do I need an SD card in every single unit that's being updated? No, you don't. You only need one for the master unit. So there'll be one master unit that we're gonna connect to that's gonna upgrade everything in the boat. So you only need one. You will also need a Garmin account. Make sure you've already opened a Garmin account. We've covered this before, but you will need to go to Garmin. I'll put a link in the description below. Go and open yourself a Garmin account, and that's what you're gonna use to log into the Active Captain app that we're gonna install on your mobile device, okay? So now let's jump onto the units, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've got in my network and what we're gonna be updating today. Okay, guys, so we have the unit turned on, and we can go ahead and see what's connected in our network just by hitting settings system, and then you go to system information, Garmin devices, and here you can see I've got two Ultra 122s connected, as well as my GLS-10, so this is the unit for panoptics, okay? So this is everything that we're gonna upgrade in the network. Now, while your unit is still turned on, and I did turn it off just because in the video it was making it too dark, so assuming this is still on, go ahead and just put in your card like so, and right away it's gonna go ahead and detect the memory card that you've just put in. And you're gonna go ahead and create a Active Captain memory card, okay? So this is assuming you've never done this before, this is from scratch. If you already have an Active Captain memory card, well, you just put it in, but in this case, we need to create it. Now, I'm gonna do this from scratch, so I'm gonna go ahead and format the card, and I'm gonna say yes. Now make sure you're not doing this with a mapping card. If you've got a mapping card, make sure you've taken it out. You don't wanna do this with a mapping card, that would be bad. And there we go, our active captain card is done. So we can go back home and then click on active captain. And this will lead us through the next steps that we need to do. So now we'll go ahead and hit Wi Fi network. And we're going to go ahead and enable Wi Fi. And we say OK. And you can name it to whatever you want. We'll just leave it as is Garmin 7820 and click next. Do configuring network, this is setting up the Wi-Fi, and you can put in a password. So we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, done. And there we go, Wi-Fi is on. Not the most secure password. If you're gonna be out there on the lake publicly turning this on, you might wanna go with something way more secure. Now guys, don't forget, you're not connecting your Echo Map to your Wi-Fi of your house like you would with your iPad or with your telephone that you connect it to the router in your house or your internet modem so you have internet connectivity. What you're actually doing is creating a Wi-Fi hotspot with the Echo Map that you're gonna to connect to with the phone. So your phone is gonna connect directly to the Wi-Fi that this is setting up. So basically, this is acting like its own router. And then what we'll do is we'll connect with the phone to the Wi-Fi on this thing. We're gonna check it to see if there's any updates, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so first things first, we're gonna to need to run Active Captain. So let's go ahead and get Active Captain going. And uh, I'm already logged in. Now, it may prompt you for your login. You put in your email and password. And first things first, I wanna make sure that my unit is on here. So we're gonna to go to My Marine Devices, and you can see it's already started downloading an update. And I'm gonna add, and it's gonna ask me to change Wi-Fi network to see if there's any devices. So what I do is I change Wi-Fi network, and it's gonna do this check. We're gonna hit this to go down, and you can see there's the Garmin 7820 network that I created with my Echo Map. Wi-Fi password. Let's put it in. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And we're gonna do connect. Uh, let's see, allow it to manage. Yes, allow. Connect to device. Active captain wants to use a temporary blah, blah, blah. Good, connect. 
and on my unit it just said, my unit just asked that there's a new active captain user detected. Am I the owner of the vessel? So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes on the unit. And it's going to ask me to confirm, are you the owner? And I'm going to say done. And your unit will say a new active captain user was added. That's fine. Once you confirm that you are the actual owner of the unit, go ahead and hit continue in active captain. And it's going to search your network. It found a device, done. And here on my screen, you can see it added live scope and it added an additional uh, 122 SV that says without trans, uh, with transducer. So that is the one, see the one that says 122 SV with the GT56? That is the console one. That's the one I've designated as my master. So we're done. And then you can see at the top of the screen up there, it says software updates available. So it says disconnect to download the software updates to your mobile device. So now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect from the Garmin 7820. We're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi for the house, which is Fishing Mecca. And that's done. So let's go back to Active Captain, and we're gonna go ahead and click Download Software Updates. And then we'll just let this run through. While we're downloading the Echo Map updates, you can see on the Echo Map Ultra itself, we're in the Active Captain screen, which is showing our Active Captain status. So you can see if there's software updates, you can see if our smart notifications are enabled and how much space is available on the SD card, etc. Let's get back on the phone. We are ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and click Connect. And once again, we're going to change our Wi Fi network to the Garmin unit. Click Connect. Connect again to confirm. And now it's letting us know that they found a unit. So we're going to do continue. Done. All right, so now we're connected and it's going to go ahead and automatically start transferring the software updates. Once you've switched over to the Wi-Fi on your Echo Map, you can then just go back to the Marine Devices screen and it'll show you that it's transferring the software update. Or you can just go back to the main screen and you see where it says sync with plotter. It shows you that it's transferring the charts and it's doing its synchronization and update. So now this does take a while. Uh, one of my complaints is just how slow this process takes. So we're just going to go ahead and let this go for a little while. And once it's done, we'll get a notification on the phone and we'll also get one on the screen of the Echo Map. You can actually see right here on the one chart, it's transferring. See how it says 17%? It's actually transferring the charts over right now. It's synchronizing. Then it'll do the same thing for the software updates and everything else as it goes through. And guys, just a reminder again, okay? This process does take quite a while, so be patient. It's normal. You could be at this for 20, 30 minutes, uh, depending on how many updates you're running, if you're running your maps and things like that. So do be patient. And remember, that's why it's wise that you make sure you get a full charge on your phone before you start doing this, okay? Don't do this when your phone battery's at like 20%. That's going to be no bueno. Hey, you guys still hanging in there? We're at 53%, uh, so just about there. Well, not quite. Halfway done the map sync. Okay, guys, so we just finished up the chart synchronization. So now it's doing the one chart validation. And you can see on the Echo Map, under software updates, it now says transferring. And if we look back to the phone, you can actually say it says transferring software updates on there as well under sync with plotter. So that'll be the next process we need to go through. So we'll just let that run now. And now you can see the software update is actually starting to transfer now. It's showing a percentage counter on both the phone and on the Echo Map Ultra. So the one chart synchronization, that took about, I want to say 15 minutes. So let's let this go. This will probably take another 15 minutes as well. So uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Turn off the camera for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. If you go back to your phone here, you don't have to stay on this menu. You can actually see it says 30% uh, transferred right now. You can actually click on My Marine Devices. And when you do that, you can see that we're showing the transfer here as well, 31%. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't have to be stuck in this menu. It won't do anything if you move around and do stuff. It won't you know, mess up your transfer. So feel free to do other things with your chart plotter uh, while this is running. It, it won't break anything. You can also minimize it and do other stuff on your phone while it's running. Go back and it's still cooking. Okay, guys, we are almost done. We're at 99% transfer for software updates. And there we go, we're done, and it's validating. 
And once it's done the validation process, we will get into the installation process. And you can see here, if I go to My Marine Devices, it's showing the same software update validation process. All right, now we are ready to go. So let's hit review. And you can see we've got an update for the LiveScope GLS 10, as well as both Echo Maps. So we are good to go. We're ready to start. So version 21 will be installed, and these are the current versions, and version 2.58. So we're ready to go. Let's start installing. Go ahead and hit install now. This could definitely take some time. Don't turn everything off. Continue, yes. And there we go. Let's get it started. And you really no longer need the phone at this process. Uh, so we can kind of just turn that off and set that aside for now. So the unit's gonna go ahead and restart and launch the firmware update. So it's totally normal that this thing restarts a couple of times. Don't freak out, it's all right. So right now the screen is lit, but like nothing's loading. Again, don't worry, I'm not, don't, don't panic or anything like that. So guys, check this out. We're gonna go to the bow of the boat. Look at this unit. Here's the unit at the bow. And it is showing software updating. Here you go, updating software. So that's cooking. Let's go back to the other console unit. And you can see this one is now also updating. So you can see on the network, Dan Bao, you can see my Bao unit is updating in progress and the GLS 10 is waiting for its turn politely in line. So very much how like this one was doing it when we were starting the software update, any units on your boat might also start to reboot a couple of times, go to a flashing screen or go to a blank screen. It's totally normal, don't worry about it. All right, the unit on the bow is now saying update complete and the GLS 10 is now in progress. All right, and now it's saying update complete, select OK to restart device. And you can see the unit on the bow and the GLS 10 are updated and ready to go. So we'll hit OK. And we'll do one last reboot. And this is gonna reset the whole network. Remember that all of your units that are connected, when you shut one off or reboot one, it'll reboot the other ones, right? It'll shut them off as well. If you wanna put one to sleep, you can put one to sleep while you're out there fishing. You put one to sleep and it won't affect the other one. But if you shut one unit down, it'll shut them all down on the network. Or if you turn one on, it'll turn all of them on in the network. All right, hit agree as usual. All right, so you see I'm getting the unlock maps. Again, don't worry about it. That's just maps that are not available on this unit. No big deal. Uh, all information is presented. Da -da. This is basically the EULA. It's all right, just accept. And that's it, we're back. So again, we can go to settings, system, go to system information, Garmin devices, and there's our units. And you can see they are now all updated to version 21 and our GLS 10 is now on 2.58. And there you have it guys, that's all there is to it. Now, of course, when you're done, make sure you disable the Wi-Fi, like I showed you how to turn it on, go ahead and turn it off. You don't need it uh, when you're not connected to it. Don't, I don't leave it on, I wouldn't suggest leaving it on. It uses power for nothing anyway. And uh, that's it, you're good to go. You're ready to sail off into the sunset. Now, before you go, in case you're wondering how I have these networked, what's beautiful about the Ultra Series is that they come with two network ports, okay? Let me show you what those look like. So you can see here, these are two network ports. Now, having two network ports is super handy because it allows me to connect Panoptix, which uses a network port, into one port on the unit, and then the other network port I can run to another unit on the boat without the need of the Garmin Network Hub. So it makes it really, really simple. I don't need any extra equipment because of those two. Now, if you have an Echo Map that is not an Ultra, so you've got a UHD, you've got a Plus, you've got any other unit uh, that is not the Ultra Series, you've only got one network plug. So that means you're gonna need to buy yourself the GMS-10. So I'll put a link in the description below. The GMS-10 is the Garmin Network Hub. Now you can use a network switch and there's other cheaper methods of doing it, but you won't get that waterproof uh, network hub that Garmin provides you. So if it gets wet, if you get water, if the boat gets soaked, you don't scrap your hub. So there are cheaper ways to do it, but I would recommend just getting Garmin equipment, you know, all the way around. And everything is plug and play, which is really nice. Just plug it in and it works. So if I go ahead and end up getting a Garmin Force and connecting it to this boat, I'll put that on my network as well. I'll be able to connect it to the port that's on the unit on the bow and boom, it's part of my network. It'll automatically update and, uh, it's just, it's just a nice seamless integration. Another popular question I get is, can you connect this with Bluetooth? Can you use Bluetooth to update? And the answer is no, you cannot. Uh, no Bluetooth, that won't work. 
Another question is, can you update manually with just a micro SD card and not have to use your telephone in order to use the network? Uh, and the answer to that is no, unfortunately not. You cannot just update one unit and it updates all the network. Uh, you would actually need to use the uh, SD card in each unit separately to update it. But even then, there is no SD card that allows you to update the live scope. So I'm not sure if you can do that while it's connected to the unit, to be totally honest with you. Uh, but in that case, when you're gonna get that down and dirty and you're gonna start upgrading your network, just use the phone. You guys saw how much easier it is instead of fiddling around with an SD card on your computer and blah, blah, blah. So that's it guys. I hope you found this episode very useful and you got to see how easy it is to upgrade your Garmin network on your boat. It's actually very, very simple and you only need one card and your phone and you're off to the races and maybe 25 minutes of your time and it's done. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget, please like the video, help me grow the channel, make sure you're subscribed and of course hit the bell notification. So that way, you know, every time I put out a new video and as always guys, if you have any questions or comments, just use the comments below, post them, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I have been very busy, I'm sorry, uh, but I do try and check my messages as much as possible. So we'll see you guys on there, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.